Hey everyone, it's Ben with RGBG5. Just giving you a little update on the hand cooked Ventus V12 Evos after 20,000 miles now. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it seemed like on this one there was a little bit of dry rot. Um, but I'm not 100% sure if it's dry rot or if it's just a few chunks have been taken out from, um, I guess, extreme driving conditions. Um, not exactly sure, but um, other than that, you can see that the wear on them for, you know, pretty spirited driving often and on a front wheel drive car, I mean, these uh, these have been on the front for about 6,800 miles. So you can see there's still a lot of depth in there. Um, definitely will still conform. Now we're definitely getting towards the end of the cycle of the tire, the end of the life cycle. But still, I mean, for how, how much they cost and what they look like when they're on the car, um, I don't think you can really beat them. Now I know the Ventus V12 Evo 2s have come out, so these are a little outdated, but I'm sure you can still get them some places, but I have no complaints. Um, it's a nice sports tire to get on your car if you're moving like I did from a factory Michelin tire onto a more aggressive performance tire, so uh, definitely no regrets in getting them. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Uh, I think I said this in the first video, but total it costs about $510 that is shipped to my house and installed, balanced, aligned, everything. So um, if you shop around you can get them done fairly cheaply and yeah, great tire, performs well in all weather conditions except they're not kidding when they say uh, don't use them in like below freeze, really even below 50 degrees they feel like garbage. But um, I live in Phoenix now so that's not a problem a lot of the time but when I was back in Pennsylvania in North Carolina um, when you get in those cold conditions and you push it a little bit the tires do not want to do what you tell them do what you want them to do so um, but that's obvious I mean it says it on the uh, manufacturers directions so um, yeah let me know if you have any questions and uh, thanks for watching